All right, Giles Kennedy here aboard the Porter 58 at the wonderful, small but awesome j Arrow Gauge Railroad on the property of the Youngstown Steel Heritage Museum. As I said in the previous video, this locomotive it does have heritage with the j l Southside Works. The museum acquired it, went through a retrofit, just recently through some standards and safety inspections and what have you. She's ready to roll for the 2023 season. I'll have links in the video later. Y'all get a gut up here on a Saturday, man. So looking back to the Bob Savage is informing me that's going to be their expansion. That's as far as we can go right now until we acquire more property. So we're going to run the second track up the hill and a switch and another switch be a stub track here and uh, we're, we're going to have a little bit going on back up in here. Uh, maybe eventually take out some of that hillside up in there. Right over in there. And off to the right is a neighbor's property, but we can use a little bit down there along the creek for what we need to do. So, and 
envision having a lot more going on back here in the future. It's a work in progress. Yeah, especially on these 90 degree days, it's cooler back here. Yeah. 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 No, it's <laughs> basically the equivalent of Orville, but smaller. Yeah. <laughs> Drag into the woods, come back. And with steam. Yeah. That's a draw already. It's not an Orville. What's that? And it's not an Orville. Oh! <laughs> Orville, you didn't hear that, but okay. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Don't make me look bad. Well, you know, right here, I mean, right off of 80 and 76. Oh, and yeah. Like, and central mm -hmm. like, you you know, know, you're probably making a trip somewhere. It's coming through right through here. Yeah. yeah. We make 850 a weekend. I'm sure you guys do that by half the day. Right. Now here's the nice thing about the J&L Narrow Gate Railroad. It is a small operation, however, intuitive, interactive, and real railroading. Question mark? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. <laughs> Is there an engineer on that train? <laughs> Ask him if he wants me. Hey, Rick. Ask him if he wants me. Bob said you can come and show you how not to have all that slack action. <laughs> Bob, Bob will teach you not to have all the slack action. It's like riding a freight train. <laughs> <laughs> track that the two engines are on is going to go into the box car and that's going to be the new engine house in the box oh, car. Here you go, Rick. With the roll up door on the end. You'll and then it. the track to the right of it where those wheels are sitting is where the, the, the two quarters, well, we have two quarters are going to go and we'll have space there. Um, yeah, so why I got you here, Vernon, tell me a little history about this quarter. <laughs> I forget. It's not made uh, in China. It's funny. So, um, it was well, HK Ford <laughs> built, um, they built 23 HK locomotives for DNL Steel for quite a few years. The fireman And then in the, in the mid 30s, they, they started building these and weighed 90,000 pounds. Um, so they built uh, 57 and 58 at the same time. Oh, yeah. We had both of those. Um, and then they built 59 on up to 63 up until 1947 and built the last one. And uh, so we have three. Well, we have three and a half. And then we're going to get the last one. So we'll have, we'll have all the existing systems here. Well, we'll do some communication with you and try to get back with you in the fall, get some operation lightsaber tables up here for you guys. Appreciate you having us out today.